How to Deal with Wasfasa by Dr. Mohsin Ali. Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the world, and blessings and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad and upon all his family and companions. Compulsive thoughts are from the handiwork of shaitan who endeavors always to disturb the religion and prayers of the Muslim. The exact cure of compulsive thoughts is to ignore them, not pay any attention to them, and not to act according to them. This is the consensus of Muslim scholars. Imam Ibn Tamiyyah said, Compulsive thoughts happen to everyone who worships Allah. Therefore, such person should go on performing prayers, supplications and indulging himself in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One should not feel uneasiness from those shaitanic insituations because they will end when a person keeps on doing those good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, which is the interpretation of the meaning, so fight you against the friends of shaitan. Ever feeble indeed is the plot of shaitan. Surah 4 verse 76 Whenever a person sincerely intends to turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, insinuations interrupt his prayers and his other forms of worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala since shaitan does everything he can to stop him. Whenever a person wants to pursue the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shaitan spares no efforts to cut his way. Imam ibn Hajar Haitami said the useful remedy for insinuations is to just turn away from them even if there is hesitation regarding some matters. When a person totally turns away from the compulsive thoughts, then automatically they end after a while, as experienced by many lucky, blessed people. However, if a person takes them into consideration, they increase gradually and drive him almost to the rank of insane people, sometimes even worse than insane people. We have seen that very often those who were afflicted with compulsive thoughts and who acted according to them became like insane people. Is Ibn Abd Salam wrote, the remedy of compulsive thoughts is to believe strongly that they are satanic insinuations and only Iblis, Shaitan, brings them to one's mind. Therefore, the person should strongly fight against them. Surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him in his fight since it is against the enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever a person perceives this fact, surely his enemy will flee from him. Besides ignoring and turning away from the compulsive thoughts, one should also practice the following deeds which will help him get rid of them, inshallah. The first, continue to remember Allah at all times. Imam Abu Ya'la narrates from Anas in his book Al Masnad, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him, that the Prophet said, Shaitan puts his snout on the heart of the son of Adam. May Allah exalt his mention. Whenever he remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Shaitan snubs his snout and whenever he forgets supplicating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the shaitan swallows his heart this shaitan is called khannas number two continuously seek refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the shaitan Imam Muslim narrates from Uthman ibn Abu al-As that Uthman came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger peace be upon him and said Allah's messenger the shaitan intervenes between me and my prayer and my reciting of the Quran and he confounds me thereupon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger 
وسلم, said that is the doing of the shaitan who is known as kinzab and when you perceive its effect seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from it and spit three times to your left I did that and Allah dispelled that from me number three keep reciting Quran particularly the Mu'awa Zatin that is the last two chapters of the Quran number four make dua and turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his protection from all problems number five be occupied in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible number six avoid disobedience to Allah and the violation of the rules of Sharia and Allah knows best Jazakumullah khair Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh